welcome back to another video so i've got my practice hand out i'm going to do a hard gel set today i feel like i've not done one for ages so these are the tips i'm using these are the macaw xxl stiletto half cover um i'm just going to put them on with regular nail glue i am going to snip them down into more of a coffin um yeah i don't feel like i've done a hard gel set it feels like ages so yeah hard gel set today these turned out really pretty actually i was really happy with them so i'll just show you one or two of these um yeah just glue them on and i just pinch them in at the sides to make sure they're stuck in at them side wings and then i'm just going to snip literally just snipping the number off the end i still wanted them long but i didn't want them stiletto so now i'm just going to file up the sides make sure there's none hanging over and then where i've glued it on i like to file over that just blend it in with the natural nail and then just buff off all that shiny surface so i've pulled some glitters out from a and a glitter this is the fair three out of the fairy collection so we've got vidya and these are just a matte hex mix but they've all got corresponding color mylar so that's got purple mylar this has got bits of pink mylar and this has got little bits of yellow mylar so i'm going straight in with a base coat i'm using bone pretty base coat and i'm not going to cure this base coat i'm going to do a glitter fade on three of these nails just coming up from the tip so um yeah all of them are going to have a glitter fade on except the ring finger but i'm base coating the ring finger anyway because it needs base coating um, and I'm just going to do a glitter fade in all of these all of these tips so I'm starting with the purple I'm going to pack it in quite busy using the chunky bits at the tip and then just using the smaller bits to fade it off up the nail I'm not too worried about the fade being a proper fade because I'm going to be putting the builder gel faded over the top of this glitter so yeah the fade didn't need to be all that clever at the top um, yeah I'm going to do exactly the same on the other nails with the other two colours I'll just show you doing this one more I'm going to stick them in the lamp for 30 seconds so all that glitter's cured into place now I'm just going over it with an old top coat um, just to make sure there's no loose bits because I don't want to get any bits in my hard gel so this is just a nice generous layer of top coat just to kind of seal that glitter in and then that's been cured so i'm using this canny builder gel it was originally cover pink and it was a dark brown it was horrible and i lightened it with a bit of white pigment so this is the brush i like to use from architect but i do use the small one on the pinky because the pinky on this hand is so small so i use the small brush on my pinky so i'm starting at my cuticle area and I just use my brush to just keep tapping it in, tapping it in, down the side walls. And when I twizzle my brush round in circles like that, it's just to keep it in the middle of the nail and stop it dripping down the edges. So what you'll see me do now is I kind of pat it and pull it and just walk it down the nail just a little bit as far down as I want that fade to go. And then really, really light touches, I'll just feather it off and fade it off over that glitter really really light touches um, and I'm gonna go in and do a second bead just to build up a bit of strength and a bit of an apex so I'm gonna stick this in the lamp now for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna give it another bead yeah just to build up a bit of strength and apex
So I've done exactly the same on the pointer finger and the pinky and this ring finger is just going to be a full nail of this builder gel now so I like to do a, a slip layer completely cover that nail just in a really really thin layer and this just helps it just helps the gel glide down the nail a lot easier um, I think I did this in maybe three three this is quite a runny gel um, so I can't put too much on my brush at once because it is quite runny so I'm just gonna swipe it side to side and walk it down that nail and keeping it really thin at the tip area um, I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm going to go in with another bead again to build up a bit of an apex, give the nail a bit of strength and structure. In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play Right, so I'm going to use this clear IBD gel now Just to encapsulate the tip of these nails And just to level them out a little bit the top area, I've already built the apex and, and the shape with with the colour. So I'm literally just encapsulating the ends now on the glitter. Um, and I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. I won't stop till I hear him say... up again i got tired eyes need a cup of blend that's right in the am that's my only friend no light just so that's my nails all built i've just given them a quick they really didn't need much filing just up the side so they've had a file and a buff so i want these nails to be matte so i'm going to use bone pretty matte top coat get all these matte top coated and stick them in the lamp for 30 seconds i get lost in the words i say i don't push pause no i push play so that's where we're at. I really like these. I like them already. So this is three colours from the pastel gel polish set that I swatched the other day. I'll leave the video at, at the end if you want to go and see the rest of the colours. So I'm just using the yellow, the purple and the pink. Perfect, perfect match for these glitters, aren't they? And I'm literally just going to do swirls on these nails. Pink on the pink, yellow on the yellow, purple on the purple. I think I'm just going to stick to showing you one or two nails because they're all going to be the same. So this first nail, I'm not going to cure it in the lamp. This first swirl, I mean, this first stripe, I'm going to sprinkle it in clear acrylic just so it's got that matte kind of embossed look. And then I'm going to stick that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then this second line, swirl, I am going to sprinkle in some glitter. So this is from Charlie's Nail Art and it's just her fine white, fine iridescent, I think it is. And that one's going to get sprinkled in glitter. I have done another little swirl in the acrylic. Look at that glitter, isn't it pretty? I love it. So I've done exactly the same on the other two nails and now I'm just doing some little flowers. Again, I'm sticking to the same colours of the nail and I'm just doing tiny little dots using a dotting tool. And in the middle of these flowers, I'm going to do use a different colour just to do the centre. So like these flowers are going to be pink and I think I used the yellow to do the middle dot on these ones. And again, I'm going to do the same on the other nails. I 
How cute are they? I love them. So I'm going to get these finished now. I've got some of these little flowers. I'm just going to use... I didn't have any in yellow. I was gutted. I only had pink and blue. So I'm just going to use the pink and blue ones on this ring finger. I'm going to do a little bit of... Um, like a... Just some gems around the cuticle area on the other nails. Pink, yellow and purple gems. Um, I'm going to use some caviar beads in between these flowers. I'm going to use caviar beads in between the gems. So I will just let you watch and I'll be back in a sec. There we go, that's them finished. I really, really like them. I haven't picked any fault with these at all. I really haven't. Not a fault, but I do wish I had them little plastic flowers in yellow. I think it would have just finished them off so much better if I had the little flowers in yellow as well. But I'm really happy with them. I really like them. I think they're really cute. I love the colour of that canny hard gel. I love the colour that turned out to be. It's perfect. Really, really nice nude. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully, I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.